What's up guys, this is your boy Rusin with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And right now we're go getting into uh, the Thor Fusion. So let's discuss a little bit. I I'm quite, a few things are really good. I'm quite impressed with Plarian. What I know, you probably never heard me saying that, but one of the things is, uh, when you look at tournaments, for example, and we have the champion chase. Now, the only thing I really hate is that Plarian started with the champion chase because, to be honest, I did not want to open certain shards, but, well, it is what it is. So, the main reason is we have a 2x event right now, and the requirements are only, now, when I say only, I mean for the level of my account, 1550. Now, why do I say only, and why do I say that I really hate that it's champion chase right now? Uh, it's because, if you look in here, I actually wouldn't have to open any shards, right? But, we have a 2x event right now. So, for me, it would be really interesting to try to get uh, Freya. The problem with this is... Uh, uh, that's what it kills me. So, Freya is a champion I would love to have. I don't quite need her. Um, I will eventually get a little bit into my account. I believe I have really about 10 champions I use, besides from uh, Secret Runes and some of the Cursed City. But I only really have like 10 champions I really use the whole game. And yes, it may take sometimes longer for me to clear some stage, but... I still can go hard mode, uh, pretty much every dungeon. So, yeah. Every time uh, I get a new champ in the most infusions, I really get them because this is the type of game you, you want to collect champions, right? So, it would be really interesting for me to get her. And I will be running, uh, I will be opening charts to try to. But what I meant by I didn't really need to is I have been holding a couple of champions uh, in my vault. And one of them is Tia, Tia the Tomb Angel. I actually have a hundred, I already have all the parts I need for her. So I could pull her, what it would give me 500 points. And I would come in here on Fusion and get late Mikagi. Mikagi, what actually would get me 1500 points, what just leaves me one to five um, ancient shards or one to 50 mystery shards and I would be completely done. So let's talk a little bit about how I actually gonna take this. I will open 10 shards. The lie detective determined that was a lie. I'm not going to open one by one like a lot of people. And the reason why I'm opening 10 straight it's because I don't know, I just feel I have better chance to get some, uh, at least one or two Legos by doing this. A lot of times I see people going one by one, 10 shards, and they all get epic. So I'll try my luck like this. And I'll hold all my Void shards because I guarantee they're gonna have some 10X holding. Hopefully when they have this, gonna be uh, during the summer rush. So, uh, and also, so just so you guys, you guys probably know, uh, unless you're a new player, during this time, uh, Champion Chase, usually you, you will open Ancient Shards. Uh, that's usually when you get the best points. And most because Summer Rush, it will give you a set point for each type of shards. Now, if things go normal, uh, I really would only need about five sacreds to five to seven sacreds to be able to get... Uh, everything I need during Summer Rush. So this shouldn't be a problem. And plus, I am, I should by that time, I already have two more my Void Shards for sure, uh, from the Doom Tower. And hopefully I'll get a couple of Sacreds here, a couple of Voids, a couple of Ancients um, on Clan Boss. Now, just so you guys have an idea, uh, I have been, not my Ancient Shards, um, 
I'm trying to keep this account as free to play as I can. Really, the only thing I have been buying are the rate cards. Because, and I'll say, uh, if you guys don't want to spend, but you want to put some money towards the game, that's a great buy. You get 20% XP, 20% uh, silver, and 70 extra multi-battles. Uh, pretty much the multi-battles, unless there's something really important going on in the game, I usually just use in campaign to level a lot of my champions and be able to create foods, etc. All right, so uh, a couple of things. Uh, just so you guys know, there is a new promo code. And the promo code, I already got it. I already used it. So the promo code is EmberFall2GT. And I'm going to have that written down for you guys. So it's going to give you one five-star chicken and a couple of other things. I believe two multi-battles and some energy. So, not too bad. Actually, I haven't seen a player give, uh, give out five-star chickens for a while, so that helps a lot. Now, most of my free-to-play accounts. Uh, the other thing is a lot of those... Uh, player has was really good with how they set up um, this event. Uh, sure, I am upset that it's not Summer Rush right now, but in comparison to a lot of the fusions we had, this is pretty decent, all right. Um, and I, I just hope you know they keep doing this. Now, the other thing is, a lot of people may be thinking most of you are free to play with an account that is not around level 80 or 89, 90. It is kind of hard to be able to save enough stuff to be to actually get those fusions. It's true. Um, I think I'm becoming more or less pay to win right now, even though I didn't spend much money before, uh, because I feel I don't have to. A lot of uh, what I do in the game is really just collect the champions. Uh, do what I have to do, clan boss every day, pretty much hit everything. I am planning to actually optimize a little bit my teams. Right now, Ultra Nightmare, uh, how much did I hit? I actually used two keys, I believe, this time. Yes, two keys, 116, and the problem is because my team's not optimized, you got to have me, um, and it has zero to do with uh, the affinity, to be honest, but you got to have me in one key going to 106 million, and the next day I'm going to hit like 40-something million. Same affinity, same everything. So it's just because my team's not optimized, but I would say 75% of times, I won kill from Nightmare, what pretty much allows me to go all the way to hard uh, with one key, right? One key each. So per day, I clear at least three to four uh, clan bosses, what allows me to get a lot of shards, right? The other thing is being able, and that's something you guys have to really focus your accounts. And arena is one thing because you're going to get bonuses uh, the higher you are in the arena. But Doom Tower. Doom Tower, great. So you see here, I'm level 81 right now. So like I said, at 90, I'm going to get another Void Shard. And then a few days later, I'll get this. And that's why I don't feel too bad uh, about opening Shards. Because I will have enough left for... Um, summer rush and if you guys are worried what about next fusion when it comes up because some of those fusions can come up anytime right I also don't have too much of a worry because I do have I will hold didn't want to hold Lady Mikaj I really want her in my roster but I can't I don't fully have, have to her uh, have to have her uh, it, it would help a lot uh, in times, you know, in the dungeons, but I can hold on. Plus, I have Gorda coming in um, next and Tia. So, I'm pretty much set for the next one. So, if I waste every single one of my shards on this fusion, I'm fine for the next one. All right, guys. So, let's open some shards right now, okay? So, I'm going to open 10. Can I open 10? 
That's so weird. Why? So I have... That's so weird. So I can only open one at a time? This sucks, right? Anyway, all right. So uh, if I get Freya, I'll stop opening those shards, all right? All right, so let's go. <coughs> Come on. Nailed or Ryan Blade. Uh, how's him? Yeah, he's not bad. And I believe I already have him, so I can empower him. Next one. Come on, Freya. Jesus. That's why I don't like opening one by one. Uh, okay, Nazana. Don't really care about her. Uh, don't think I ever used, but... Hmm. Those thing, this thing is usually not correct, uh, but I wouldn't mind trying her in some of my free-to-play. Let me take a look. So, attacks all enemies. At attack all enemies is really good. A life protect shield, 50%. Okay. And decrease attack on the A3, 5. So, this one's down to 3 turns, if booked. And this one, down to 3 turns, plus... Uh, Attacks all enemies. Yeah, I guess someone for me to, you know, keep a look on. All right, come on. Another epic. Morag. Well, uh, hello, future empowerment. I think I already have her plus one, so or plus two, so that's not too bad. All right, come on. Oh, oh! I have this guy already. Come on. I mean, I haven't really used him much. I, I've been trying to use him. Uh, I I know in the past he was a, a big player on uh, on Clan Boss. So I'm not going to empower him. I'll probably use him to actually add bonuses. So, yep. All right, let's go. Let's go. We still have more shards. Come on. We can do it. Come on, Freya. Another epic, and it's Sinesha. Sinesha, great epic. Um, I have her in one of my free to plays, and she hits really good. Uh, she hits really hard. Not bad at all. Uh, attacks all enemies again. That's a big thing, you know. In the most of the A one, uh, and she and she hits hard. Then you have attacks one enemy. Put the target skill on cooldown. Also freaking amazing on three turn cooldown. And this one, five turn, yeah, equalize the HP of all enemies. And the HP levels of all enemies will be brought up to the level of the ally with the highest HP. So pretty much uh, a lot of times, even Arena with her, I'm about to lose uh, pretty much all my champions. And she just brings everybody up. She is really good. Uh, she's better than I thought she was. All right, one more. I still have a few more to go. Freya! Woo! Yes! Snake Track! Don't have this guy been killing for this dude. And... Whoa! That's great! Alright, so... Decrease attack. Attack to one enemy. Chance placing 50%. Decrease attack debuff for two turns. If the target's under a leech debuff has a 100% of place and a 50% decrease attack debuff on the target for two turns before attacking. Damage based on HP. I love it. HP nukers. We need more of you. Attacks on enemies. Decrease speed and creates a shield equal to 30% of this champion's max HP. So, and the most because he's an HP champion. It's not like this that they cause damage with attack, but they are HP. Massive. All right, the next, a light protection. So, and reflect damage. So, there is a big chance I may actually try to use him, my new clan boss team. Let's see what the survey says. Demon Lord, 4.8. Yep. Hydra, uh, I probably need to build a couple more teams for Hydra. He probably will be great on that too. All right, so we're not done. Freya. Freya, we're waiting on you, baby. Come on, baby. 
Karam. Hey, don't take me wrong, I don't have every epic, and their epics I would love to get right now. Hopefully they would pop up. I doubt it. Come on. Another epic. The Filed Sinner. Another dude that I don't care about. You know, let me know in the comments. Do you guys want me to pick some of those worst, worst epics uh, and try to build them and try to build them in a way that they actually work? Scabrius, I already have. Uh, gonna be a good empowerment. He's not a bad champion at all. Uh, I wouldn't say top tier, but pretty decent. He has Poison. He has Leech. He has Weaken. And Weaken... I'll be honest, uh, we can, can add a lot of damage uh, in your attacks. All right, so that was a plan to just have one more. All right, you know what? 2x event may not happen again anytime soon. Go broke or go home, right? Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right, come on, Freya. Lanaril. Lanaril, let's take a look. All right, survey says she's pretty decent in most things. Now let me see what uh, Hell Hades says. I'm sorry I can't pull the screen here. I'll just let you guys know. All right, so Lanaril on Hell Hades is rated 3.5. All right, so she's pretty much a poisoner, but just all right on it, I guess. That's okay. See, the problem is I love to get legendaries, but because the cost of books and everything, and I don't buy books either. Um, I have a lot of them that I need to build, but it becomes really like, who am I going to build first? Um, yeah, so... Anyway, it's just like Pokemon, right? You're gonna catch them all. All right, let's go. Let's go all the way. I'm gonna be going all 17 shards. Dude, Karam. Those guys all look the same, right? You see uh, the file sinner's brother? Jeez. Okay, next. After that, four more to go. Sanguine. Sanguine actually helped me a lot during the free-to-play competition with Hell Hades. Um, she's weird. Uh, I don't think I built her right, and after, I believe, the first month, I pretty much moved her to the side. I got better champions, but I actually would love to build her. I'm gonna take a look, may build her, you know, for a more, like, high-end account, right? And end game account. All right, next chart. Give me Lego. All right, no, Cult Brawler, uh, probably another one I'm going to be empowering. So weird, I always get the same epics for the most part, uh, so I have a lot of empowered epics. And some of the epics I have never seen in my life. All right, three more to go. Come on, Freya. 10x, come on. Next one, Freya. Okay, Quiver Grass... Uh, I believe I used her, I think, on my f one of my free to play accounts. I guess she's legit. Um, all right, let me make some room. I have two more charts to go. All right, so I moved late Mikaki uh, Fusion out. So two more to go. Let's do it. Come on, Freya. You know, I'm going to regret. Okay, Rock Breaker. I, I think that's a new champion for me. That's rare. All right, so Rock Breakers attack one enemy, increase this champion's defense by 4% every time the skill is used, stacks up 20. Not too bad, in the most for long fights. Uh, has 75% of place in a provoked buff on all enemies for one turn. Place a counterattack buff on this champion for two turns. Not too bad, and... Has 25% chance of decreased damage inflicted on this champion by 50% each time this champion is attacked. That looks really good. Uh, 
lot of things have to do with percentage too, so it may look good on paper and be horrible. Uh, survey says it may not be as good as it looks. All right, so last one. Come on, Lego, Freya, let's do it. And... All right, so I got Gory that I'm not going to look at. Well, okay. Uh, I guess it's all right. So I have a lot of new champions to work on, and they probably will be sitting for a while before I actually get to it. <laughs> if you guys let me guys know uh, if you guys were able to get Freya. So I'm down to zero sacred. So pretty much I'm gonna hold my voids. I have enough voids to be able to get the next one. And in here, let me see. I'm second place. Jesus. Who else has 17 of those shards? Well, I'm probably first in here. Jeez. I went a little bit overboard, boys and girls. All right, so yeah, second place. Look, there's a lot of people that do just like me, and sometimes you're luckier, or they didn't do the last fusion. So they have about 30 or something shards, just burning on the bank. All right, so yeah, not too bad. So I may open 500 mystery shards, believe it or not, just to get that five-star chicken. I uh, don't care about using mystery shards. I usually, that's how I usually use them. Um, probably going to be less than 500. I don't want to touch those because I'm quite sure in the next week and a half, two weeks, something going to be popping up. That if it doesn't pop tomorrow. Anyway, guys, that's about it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going for, for this fusion or not. Hopefully, I'll get more luck opening my void shards and get Odin. And hopefully, in another chance to get Freya. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the game.